in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, let me welcome you, everyone, to St. Francis Parish for the celebration of our daily liturgy uh, in a quiet location, uh, taking into account the, the um, epidemic that we have now, and also our need for distancing. But yet the Lord is with us, and he wants he invites us to enter into the mystery of this Eucharist, whether we're receiving him sacramentally or spiritually. And so we begin now, this morning, the Friday of the Octave of Easter, Friday, Friday Easter Day, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty oh God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned sin, in my thoughts, in my, my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary and Mary of Church, all the angels and saints, saints, and you, my you brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. And may the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Your God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take, you take away, away the sins sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take Lord, away the, the sins sin of the world, we receive our prayer. prayer. You are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God, God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guards, and the Pharisees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of them grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly caste. They brought them into their presence and questioned them, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know, that it is in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by, by you, the builders, which has come to become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord this has been done, it is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders, builders has become the cornerstone. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer you thankful praises. 
a lamb the sheep redeems, Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that, mortal, in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you, sh what you saw wayfaring, the tomb of Christ, who is, who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels in, in, attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope, is risen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ, indeed, from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Alleluia. Amen. Alleluia. 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 This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will also come with you. And so they went out and got into the boat, but they caught nothing at all. When it was nearly dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not recognize that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. And so he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. And so they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. But Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord. He tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in in the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about 100 yards, dragging the, the net with the fish. When they climbed out, of, out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish and, on it and some bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Jesus, though there were, were so, even though there were so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in, the, and in the same manner the fish. And now it was the third time that Jesus revealed himself to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so we're celebrating these, these eight days uh, in a special way as a, as a continuation of Easter. It's called the Octave of Easter, the eight-day celebration. So it's obvious that the church has in mind that we can't contain the Easter mystery, you know, in just in just one day. We, we, we need more time. We have to wrap our minds and our hearts and our, our souls around, our spirits around this immense reality of the of the resurrection in order to really make it our own. We, we're meant to be, the, the, the power that raised Jesus from the dead is supposed to be in us uh, as the power of the Spirit, uh, with the gifts and fruits of the Spirit operating in our lives so that people notice and begin to realize that there's salvation in Jesus. So this is quite a Quite a task that the Lord has given us to be his followers, but we see the beginnings of it in the way he handled his disciples. First of all, he calls them to a greater level of, of faith and trust in him. He calls them to a rock-solid faith in his resurrection. We see Peter here, who's still, at, at this point in time, that Jesus is still somewhat tentative about who, who the Lord is and what the Lord expects of him and so forth. And we're going to find that G Peter gets reconciled to the Lord in a, in a deeper way, uh, as Jesus speaks to him about feeding his lambs and feeding his sheep. But we see also then, uh, after the, the gift of the Spirit comes, how bold Peter is in proclaiming to the Pharisees and the high priests and all that it was by the power of Jesus, risen, risen humanity, that this a crippled man was, was saved. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing we're looking for now, the, the grace of God to clothe ourselves in it, to be uh, active in the fruits and gifts of the Holy Spirit, and to trust God evermore in our troubles and our Whatever stage of life we're at, whether we're children, teenagers, young adults, middle life, uh, uh, senior citizens, uh, Lord, the Lord's preparing us in a special way to do His work in this wonderful time, the octave of Easter Day.
He had led his one people, we place our needs and desires before God, our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis, in his role holding the chair of Peter, may Jesus' strength and power continue to flow through him in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are appointed to civic authority, may God give them wisdom in working with humility and steadfastness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from disabilities, may God's grace shine through them abundantly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us on our Easter journey, may God's revelation of life conquering death continue to help us grow in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful who have, who have died, may God may they praise God in the company of saints and angels. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. But please remember your prayers, the announced intention of this Mass, which was the repose of the soul of Peter Flynn, and also Gabriel Leon de Vilongo, a uh, friend, I'm sure, of Father Francois, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Also, please remember the repose of the soul of Father Paul Dom, who assisted at St. Francis Parish on numerous occasions. May the Lord bring him to the fullness of life and happiness in his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray also for the, the repose of the soul of Sister Marcy Papura, who literally led thousands of people on pilgrimages to Medjugorje during the uh, 1980s, 90s, and early 2000s. May God welcome her swiftly to her heavenly reward, and may she greet the mother of the mother of Jesus there with great joy and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we pause for a moment of silence to speak to God of our own needs and those of our families and friends. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever powerful God, you showed us the way to salvation through your holy Son. Hear and answer these prayers which we offer today. All this through that same Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mystery of the water and the wine, may we become sharers of his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the may Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these Paschal offerings, so that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts 
sing together the happy unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may they merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And then lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free of sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us share with each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins, the sins of, the, of world. the world. Have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Take now a few moments for quiet and peaceful reflection on this great gift of Jesus himself to us in the sacrament of the Eucharist. we pray the act of spiritual communion all those who are not able to receive the Eucharist in sacramental form receive Jesus in sacramental form now can make this wonderful prayer and welcome him into their hearts spiritually my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Safe, O oh Lord, we pray. Those whom you keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for participating with us, everyone. We look forward to future Masses in this way. And, of course, a return to solemn assembly in our church buildings with all of you physically present and receiving the Eucharist, receiving Jesus in a sacramental way. For today, God bless you all.